What is going on guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we got some more Marvel Legends and this time we've kind of like a mixed assortment of stuff that has come out recently so we're just going to kind of do some of these all together. So first up here, this just came out, this is the Game Reverse Spider-Man and so it's a Marvel Legends GameStop exclusive and I believe this is based off the new Spider-Man game, I don't know exactly if it's called anything besides Spider-Man, I don't know what the game's called but there you can see pictures of it from the actual video game, the Playstation game that is out now that I wish I could play but don't have a PlayStation so unfortunately can't play it. but this figure looks really cool and you can see I love the like take on the Spider-Man with the white added into the suit and everything it looks really cool so we've got that figure to look at then we've got this Target exclusive at least I believe again it's Target exclusive into the Spider-Verse so the new movie animated movie coming out for Spider-Man with Miles Morales and Gwen uh, Spider Gwen, could think of her name, Gwen Stacy as Spider Gwen. And so we got all sorts of cool accessories and stuff there, and we can look on the back here. So there we've got, oh, we got a weird chipping label. Into the Spider Verse stuff, um, the logo and everything there, and just kind of pictures again from the animated movie. And then our last set is this. Um, Archangel, so from the X-Men set, which kind of went with the wave we most recently did of X-Men, so it kind of fits with that, but they released it. And I believe this is some sort of exclusive of some sort. This was released around one of the Comic-Cons. Again, I don't remember um, exactly what this is from, and of course they don't put stickers or anything on this, so I don't know. We got this from Entertainment Earth, though. I do know, remember that much, um, but I don't know if it's exclusive to them, but this looks cool, and we get a hand there for the um, Apocalypse that we came in that most recent set, so that's kind of cool there, and um, there we've got that angel there as well, so let's go ahead and get into these figures. So first up here is the Game of Earth Spider-Man, as we saw again from the PlayStation Spider-Man game. Again, I don't, I can't think if it's got any other term to it besides Spider-Man or something, but um, it's kind of annoying me that I can't think about it if it does, so it may not even have anything, but here is the Spider-Man, of course this looks pretty much just like a classic Spider-Man figure that we have, it's just got a different paint and design detail going into it um so let's start off with the head of course has a classic looking head its face does look pretty fat though like it's got fat cheeks or something here on the side so it makes the head look really big um compared to the rest of the body so i don't know what that's supposed to be for if maybe that's just how it's designed and detailed like in the game and everything but i just think it looks funny on the figure how it's got these like fatter side cheek things right here that again that make it look weird but he's got the classic you know um white eyes with the black eyeliner then of course the spider webbing all over the suit and, but he is in the classic uh red and blue colors which i really like that but of course they added this um pop of detail with the white so into the spider and then you can see it runs down like his arms and onto his fist and everything so it kind of looks like he's got the fingerless gloves or leather glo driving gloves or something on but um, with the white or whatever on top of um, his normal spider suit so again we've got the white lines going down on each side of there I like that detail added into it just changes up the design some of it and everything but then of course as mentioned it's in the classic red and blue so everything else is just like the normal looking design this is like a darker like grayish blue like it has a weird color to it I don't know if it's seeable on camera or not but it does have a weird tint to it or something I don't really like it. I like more of the bright blues, but I don't like the way this color looks on this Spider-Man. Um, but I like the red and everything, of course, with all the, again, the um, spider webbing design into it. There's another white spider there on the back. You can see he's got, you know, like the bell of the red there and the red coming down on his legs. And he's just blue all the way down till you get to the feet. And I like this because they almost look like they're like running shoes or something, the design on this. And again, it's the uh, blue and red. The red does not have the spider detail, which um, I think would have been cool if it does but I think it makes again makes it look like a running chair or something without it and then it's got the white into it as well and I just really like that design and everything it's just a really cool um, nice sleek design Spider-Man figure just you know because there's so many Spider-Man they do Spider-Man all the time so it's nice to have a different looking one we'll look at articulation of the head it's kid obviously nod not too much because of just the head design but it can move a little and then twist side to side then we do have as you can see we've got the butterfly joints here on the shoulder so it can you know, do more posability, which is great for Spider-Man since he's, you know, supposed to be agile and limber and can do all sorts of stuff. But we've got that. Then we have the shoulder, which does have some rotation, as you see there, and can flex and bend up and down and everything. And so, yeah, a lot of range of movement with that um, butterfly joint and then, of course, the normal shoulder ball joint. Then we have the bicep there where it can twist around everything, as you can see there. Then we have a double elbow joint 
there as you can see that the wrist joint again with flexion and then can twist around and everything there same as always usually on the hands then we do have an ab crunch there I like the spider though the way they paint it so it does stick all the, along all the way so I like that a lot so that is really cool that they added that in there so we got the ab crunch then we do have a twist at the waist there as you can see along the belt line and then we have the classic hip joint so we have the ball that can you know move forward and then back a little and then out to the side just a little bit like that so we have some movement there then we have the thigh twist there double knee joint um, we do have the shin twist on this part so you can twist around to adjust the foot and then we do have of course uh, flexion foot and then can also go side to side and it's a really nice limber figure so it's um, pretty easy to get like pose like stood up and everything pose though I'm not good with posing figures but I'll have to come up with something but um, for accessories he does come with some hands so he does have of course another spy uh, web slinging hand there again with the white looks like he's a rock on um, but he's got that or he has a fist so you can have double fist or double web slingers there and then we've got um, two spider webs so again there are these webs that they keep adding in so it's got this little curl on one side and the handle on the other again I wish they would be fists though or like hands because usually in pictures and stuff they just show you slipping it on and then that's you know it does hold but it doesn't look I wish it would be like the grasping hands you could uh, put this on like properly and stuff so just supposed to be like that but this one comes with two of them so you can obviously I guess probably if you had the room and ability and stuff to pose figures and stuff you do it like he's you know swinging from one to the other and stuff so you could probably put a one hand back you know kind of like this and then of course the other hand shooting forward and you could attach this one and so there if I can get a hold of it so there it kind of looks like you know he's web swinging out like Ooh, off he goes so that's gonna be it for this gamer first spider-man from GameStop Next up, we've got the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2-Pack, this Target exclusive pack, where we've got Miles Morales and Gwen Poole, or, I call it Gwen Poole, uh, Gwen, uh, Spider-Gwen, I like, forget that it's spider first then Gwen, I always want to say Gwen Stacy, and then I'm like, oh no, Gwen Poole, no, that's wrong too, uh, Spider-Gwen. Uh, so first up, we've got the Miles here, of course, this is going to be the star of the Spider-Verse movie, so this is going to be like our main character from the movie, and this looks pretty cool. I do want to show, so these two are pretty close to the same height, Spider-Gwen it looks maybe a little bit taller um, but I like that they did that and then here's a look compared to the spider-man so you can see the height difference because miles is supposed to be a kid um, I don't know if Gwen's supposed to be about the same age or if, since she's a female she's just short not really sure but I like that they did make the figure short and everything and I like this and it does to me look and feel like a kid um, so I think that's uh, kind of cool that they have designed it this way but here we go we've got the Miles Morales outfit well a different take on it usually he's got like a darker blue and red I want to say but this time it looks just pure black and red which I think still looks really cool but he's got these big giant eyes so he's got the you know spider-man eyes with the white and then this time it's surrounded by red since he's got black on the outside um so he's got the big giant eyes and I like that look it looks almost like no I say it looks like Deadpool's face but I guess he has just normal eyes but it just looks you know, pretty funny it looks almost like an owl to me like big owl eyes or something um, but then going down into a suit so I'm interested to see the movie to see about a suit because here you can see he does have like a graffitied or spray painted on spider on his chest instead of just you know a normal design into the suit spider for spider-man he just has a graffitied on one which I really like that design he has some red on the shoulders here and in the fingers as you can see on the, his gloves there and then he's just a uh, black outfit all the way down until you get to the bottom of the feet there where they have some red on them as well and again the spider on the back there as well um so since this is a smaller figure we will do you know it's got the pretty i believe uh pretty much the classic posability so head can twist side um not nod very much it feels kind of there we go so it's kind of stuck a little bit it does have nodding there the shoulders just have the classic shoulder joint so just the ball you know can move up and down and twist around front to back and everything so it has some room but not as much as the other spider-man the bicep twist double elbow joint and of course the same wrist he does have an ab crunch there as you can see he twists at the waist Hip joint is the same, uh, thigh twist, double knee, foot joint, everything has the uh, shin uh, twist as well. So everything's pretty much the same, just the doesn't have that uh, shoulder butterfly as the other Spider-Man did. For accessories for the Miles, we do have some hands, so we do have 
two fists. So again, if you want fist instead of the web slinging and open hand, you can have the two fists there again with the red finger design on that. Um, then he has an unmasked head. So there's a look at Miles Morales that's going to look like from the uh, show or movie and stuff. So there's a look at him there. So you can obviously switch his head out and have him unmasked if you want to. And then he comes with his version of the webbing. So again, the webbing just like the other Spider-Man had. So we've got one for him. And then he also comes with this electricity. But I don't know what this is supposed to be for. As far as I know, he doesn't have any electric powers or anything. But it could just be some I don't know about Miles. But it comes with him. So you can obviously put this somewhere. I don't know if it goes over him. If it goes on a leg. Because it is kind of designed in a circle like they do when it usually goes around your hand and stuff. So I don't know what this, if he shoots electricity from his hands maybe, or it goes to Spider-Gwen. It was over by Miles, so I don't really know. Like, maybe he shoots electricity. He's got, like, he's a, a Sith or something that has uh, just electric powers or something. I don't really know. But there's going to be it for the Miles, so we'll sit him over to this side, and then we'll move on to Gwen, uh, again, Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen here, which I kind of like this figure. Some things I like, some things I don't. So I love the look of Spider-Gwen. I think it's one of the nicest looking characters they've added into the comic universe recently. And so we'll start off, so she has her um, outfit on, so again, it's like take on the Spider-Man outfit, but it's black and white mostly, but I like the inside details, so um, there's a look at her face, so she's got the white eyes, but with the red on the outside of it, and then it's got like a flaring red around it, I guess, you can see it looks almost like if she'd have a like pink eye or something and her eyes are all flared up in red, red or something is what that kind of looks like but then she has a hood on which I really like that design and then you can see someone on the inside of the design there so it's got like a purplish color with I'd say like a blue green or a teal or some sort of color I really like that it reminds me of the like old pop tarts and stuff that would have the icing of the same color and there but I really like that design they added into the Gwen pool so or again spider Gwen Along with that color and then the hood and stuff, I think it's a really cool uh, detail design. As you can see, the hood is loose because you will be able to switch it and stuff like that, which we'll see here in a second. Then into the outfit, we, again, it's the all white and then the black. So she's pretty much black. You can see it covers her chest there and it goes around onto the back where she does have some sort of like of the tendril to, or legs or whatever you could say of the spider. Um... I guess you could probably say since she doesn't have spider on her chest or anything. But then she's got black all the way down to her feet where you can see again that teal color there. Which I don't like this design because it looks almost like ballerina shoes. The way it's designed where normally it's just got some uh, teal here on the bottom. that doesn't have these parts up here. So then it just looks like cool shoe design. But this one looks like ballerina shoes and I don't like that at all. Um, but then you can see the white up here going down her arms. And then you can see underneath it's got the purple and teal as well under there and I like that again adding more of that design into both of her arms and stuff um, and then the back is just the same nothing too special going on there we will look at the figure though so for movement she does have some head but obviously this hood on her is going to limit the movement but it can't twist and everything she has a um, weaker shoulder joint here again it does twist around and does have like the butterfly movement there with that joint as you can see back and forth a single elbow joint there which again you have to get the arm situated just right to be able to get it to bend around and everything and of course the hand can bend and twist and everything she does have again for the females the joint here at the top right on her chest that can allow her to twist but it doesn't really crunch it has a you know a little bit of movement but not really an ab crunch or anything no waist movement but it does have the hips there with the thigh twist double knee joint the shin joint there and the foot can flex and bend and all that sort of fun stuff as they normally do so just the female again they're the skinnier joints and everything and um stuff i don't like about that i've mentioned in past videos for accessories though she does come with the hood so down so you can uh, switch that out you'd have to take the head off pull the hood off and then put this on and put the head back on or you could do it without the mask and you can have it unmasked Gwen Stacy so you can switch that out as well if you want to have her unmasked and you could do that if you wanted to and then that's um, pretty much it she does also come with the spider webbing so this pack comes with two spider webs for each character again I don't really like this spider webbing stuff too much and I don't like how it's bent and everything but I wish you if this was like stuff that you could mold so you could just bend it however you want and it would stay and everything and that'd be much cooler but that's gonna be for this into the spider-verse target 2 pack
And the last figure here is the Archangel. Again, this was some sort of Comic-Con related, like exclusive, or it came out around the time of Comic-Con. Again, not really sure on what the exact details is on it. And for Archangel himself, I don't know a whole lot of details. I know he, like Angel, was an original X-Men. I don't know if this is a different character altogether from that original Angel. Um or what he is exactly, but I think he looks really cool, and I, of course, I've heard of him and seen him for years and everything. He's hard to stand with these wings. Um, he's usually, they're bending forward or bending backwards. I don't really know. It's just kind of annoying. But this is um, a Archangel, I believe. Again, everything I'm going to say is pretty much what I think I remember from the, like, comics or from the storylines and stuff is that he somehow got possessed or taken over by um, Apocalypse, so he became a servant of Apocalypse, so that's when he started wearing this suit and became the Archangel, so again, he's kind of like one of the um, horses, one of the four horsemen of Apocalypse or whatever, because he's, you know, one of the four henchmen of Apocalypse, and so he became like this anti-character and a villain almost um, but this looks really cool I love again this is another character that since I was a kid I've loved the look and design of um, usually the suit is more purple at least from what I remember classically more purple and then this like red color um, is usually like more of a has a pink or tint to it but I still like this color so it's like a blue and red so it's like the classic spider-man colors that I would like um, but it's a blue and red and then you can see his bright blue face in there because normally he's you know a human so he's just got a normal, um, like, person, human color face. But this time he's got a blue face under this one. Um, but he, the suit looks really cool. So, again, I like the blue and then all the red. So it's got all these red lines coming off of it. The red on the chest there. And it goes all the way down to you get the red on the toes. So you can see all of that. That looks really nice and cool. Um, and then, he, again, he's got the blue face. So he's got a, like, blue. I don't know if, again, if he's supposed to be... If this is like him being controlled by Apocalypse, if he turns blue or if he's painted a face, I don't know. But the blue I really like because I love that light color of blue there. He's got the golden eyes, so he's like, you know, taken over, so he's got the different color eyes there. And I like this helmet or head covering design too, again, with the sharp red points and everything. It just looks really cool. And then, of course, the biggest thing on him is the wings on the back, these big giant silver wings, which look really cool. You know, classically, it was just normal, classic looking white angel wings, but this time they got replaced by metal ones and if you saw the x-men apocalypse movie you could see he shot like stuff from off the wings and everything but he's got this double wing thing like these extra wings on here that can move but i don't really know what these are for or what they do just to add more detail onto the wings or something i guess i don't really know but um so for movement he does have the classic movements of same as the um uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man, so we won't go into detail, he just doesn't have the butterfly joints there on the elbow, but everything else is exactly the same as you can see. Um, the wings do have some movements though, so they can, you know, bend like up and down, and then they have can go backwards forwards so they have that sort of movement and then they have these um, other double joints or whatever on the side so you can you know bend it around because a lot of times angel will like go like this to protect himself or whatever in fights um, but it has movement so it can go backwards and everything so you can get these to pretty much bend any ways you want then these back ones do have some movement too they can just fold in and out like butterfly wings and stuff so again it's hard to get him to stand I usually turn the wings back a little and that'll get his feet but he's kind of leaning forward so it's just kind of a huge mess and hassle to try and get him to stand up and everything but he still looks really awesome and cool for accessories he comes with a just an unmasked head so you can have the normal head there so we got the blue face again the non golden eyes so he's got normalized there and then his hair just is like normal hair there so you got that one then we got one where he's you know a little more possessed or whatever so he's got the blue face but then he's got the golden eyes with the blue around the eyes and then his hair there so pretty similar um design stuff i like how they did though change the hair and everything i do like that and he's got the weird little smile there with his teeth and then we also have again this is a part of the classic look of archangel is this like whole mass version where it looks like a skeleton he's got the white now eyes with the black around it then he's got you know like what looks like the sewn up mouth just the um skull nose there and you can see he's just got a complete head wrap and so that looks really cool i love that look for um archangel they're part of it there so that looks awesome and then the other accessory is a hand here for the apocalypse build a figure again from a the last x-men wave of marvel legends so we got this extra weird little claw hand i don't know why he would have a claw hand but he does probably from some scene or something in the comics i don't know about um but it looks you know kind of cool it's a nice claw and it can bend and grab and everything and you just attach it into the hand spot of apocalypse there 
um, which I, we don't have it with me or I would show you, but as you can imagine, that will be there. So that's going to be it for this Archangel figure. So that's going to be it for this set of Marvel Legends, where again we did the GameStop exclusive Game Reverse Spider-Man from the new Spider-Man game, the Spider-Verse, or Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales and Spider Gwen Target exclusive pack and then the convention exclusive Archangel here in the background so it's kind of a mix match of course we had the th two Spider-Man sets but then the X-Men Archangel back there but it's kind of a little mix match of small little sets of Marvel Legends so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below don't forget to leave a thumbs up for us and don't forget to subscribe to see more Marvel Legends videos and we'll see you next time